let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? This channel is not a weight loss channel. You don't send a huge pie and bread to a weight loss channel. You don't do it. Again, not a weight loss channel. If anything, I should be like, the walking example of what not to be and to lose your weight. I feel like in my past life, I was a doctor or a nurse. No one cares! I lost control of my bowels and I pooped my pants. <laughs> Potatoes, man. Amber got drunk again and decided it was a good idea to do an Instagram Q&A. When someone asked her to spill some tea, she said, I'm in love. Now we already know she's still in love with YB, we also know she supposedly fell in love with another girl after the YB breakup and has been going on and on about being in love with two girls, so if this is supposed to be tea, she's really making it sound like there's yet another girl in the picture. Someone then asked, are you in love with that singing girl at church? Amber replied, haha omg she was so perfect, I was like, preach pray sing, I'll believe anything you say, I'll worship you. Yikes. If you could do anything but didn't have to suffer the consequences, what would it be? Amber said, knock on her door, no not the church girl. She was also asked if she had any fun secrets that she's been keeping but is dying to let out. Amber said, I have enough secrets for the next few years of clickbait titles but I'm not that girly. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Someone said, Amber tell us about your love life, to which she replied, I can't. So of course, rumors started swirling around girl world that Amber was in love with yet another girl. So the next day, after sobering up, she decided to do another Q&A to clarify the situation but it just made things more confusing. Viewer, who are you in love with? Amber, the same person I've been in love with. Viewer, you've been in love with two people though. So which one? Amber, literally the same two people I've been talking about, Feline and that one girl, hasn't changed. I just feel like it's important that I clarify certain things, topics, questions, rumors. Obviously there's things I can't talk about, won't talk about, don't wanna talk about, but things like this, I'm going to. So there's another rumor that I'm in love with someone else and I've been in love three times since my last relationship, no. When I say I'm in love with two people, I'm talking about my ex, Feline, and I'm talking about the person I've been talking about from the jump. I have only been in love with one person after my last relationship. That's it. There's just like rumors going around that I'm like, I've been in love like three times. Like, no, no. So I just have to clarify. That's not a thing, won't be a thing. And yeah, but I'm totally fine clarifying certain topics. I might start doing that more often because I've been letting rumors float around. And the more you let them float, and the more you don't be like, actually, no, that's not true. Actually, wait, let me clarify. The more I do that, the bigger it gets. <laughs> so I just wanna squash it now. Amber's also been drinking a lot lately and drinking alone at that. For years now, she's been talking about how she has a fatty liver. And not only that, she's told us drinking was becoming a problem for her. So I've been noticing, like we all notice, like I have yellowing of the skin, obviously. I do have some liver problems. My bila, bila, bilibarum sometimes is elevated and then sometimes it's not. But I noticed the yellowing of my skin is like the worst right here, right here and like neck area. Am I dying? <laughs> I know I have liver problem. Like I found out I had fatty liver when I was 21, but they were like, no, even athletes get fatty liver. And I was like, and they said, yeah, it's actually pretty common. A lot of people go their whole life and they don't even know they have it. Do you think it's wise to be drinking all the time with all the medications you are on? I can't tell you the last time I took a, a medication, but I actually am taking a break on the whole drinking thing because I felt like I was turning to it. On live stream, I was drinking whiskey. It's because I was turning to alcohol um, because I just felt like I needed something so I didn't have to feel what I was currently feeling. I need to stop drinking because I'm not gonna use alcohol as a crutch. I'm not that person. So you can see why a viewer asked this next question. Viewer, are you drinking again? 
Amber, no, I'm currently sober. Viewer, are you going to stop drinking alcohol? Amber, no, but I'm gonna drink occasionally. Amber girl, I don't think you know what sober means. I have had this dang crown for ever and i haven't known like really what to do with it it made an appearance in a video forever ago it was like literally just a second but i just oh, wow. in the middle of all my trolling okay yes i troll whatever trolling has entered the chat trolling is fun okay like i am obsessed with being the troll queen like literal trolling entered the chat let's not forget she did that right before admitting she couldn't wipe herself for all of 2019 I got this off of Amazon like literally, I want to say like a year and a half ago. It was actually, it was during the time where everyone just like kept saying like, oh my God, beauty beauty stealing your crown. And then people would come to me and be like, oh my God, you're stealing Chantel's crown. Anyways, I woke up and it's funny because I talked about the crown situation with me and Chantel literally yesterday in this video. And I woke up to people saying like the only reason why I wore a crown in my TikTok was because of her. No. Literally, if you listen to the lyrics, Nicki Minaj is saying, you know, the queen of rap. So I put on a crown. Like, it had nothing to do with Chantel. I think people just want us to hate each other. And I'm sorry. I don't have hate in my heart for her. I, I don't have hate in my heart for anybody. I'm just not that girly. And if anything, Chantel needs to come to visit me so we can like live stream together. Like we would literally break the internet. Like I would love that so much. I don't know. Everyone just wants to like pin us together or is it pin us apart? Pin us against each other? Speaking of Chantal, it looks like Amber has been trying to get back on her good side. Amber Lynn, hi! <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> What's going on, girl? Amber Lynn, if I wasn't married and I, and, uh, you know, didn't have anything else to do, we could be roommates. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm, I'm very happy, happy with my husband, but I'm just saying it'd be cool to be roommates and we could do content. That would be like the alternate universe type of thing. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> there was meaning behind it. I was gonna do a little trolling. You know, it's like, it's literally fine to troll for fun. Like, I firmly believe that. I think trolling is funny. Like, some of the things that Trisha Paytas does or like Tana, etc., etc. Like, I am also known for being like a troll. Yes, remember when she tried to say her Burger King mukbang was just a troll or when she ate the cereal out of the large serving bowl? When I film my mukbangs, I try to eat just a little bit more than I normally would because this, no, I would never eat this much. This is the only bowl that's clean. It's huge. You only live once. Let your inner troll out. Speaking of trolling, the last of her IG question and answer was just embarrassing. Wow, okay, she fits, girlies. And I'm sorry, I don't have hate in my heart for her. I, I don't have hate in my heart for anybody. I'm just not that girly. I grew up in California. I spent majority, actually, of my life in California. I am a West Coast girly. 